Well, here's something to get you into the spirit of Halloween. There's a unique ghost tour in some of the oldest parts of Philadelphia. Reporter John McDevitt of our sister station KYW News Radio takes you on this scurry journey. <laughs> A Segway ghost tour takes off from the Independence Visitor Center at 6 and Market Streets each day, but not before a safety class where you learn how to balance, steer, stop, and go. You're connected to the guide by a radio system as he leads the tour through the streets of Old City and Society Hill, telling stories of Philadelphia's supernatural past. Our guide is Deshaun Lloyd. He takes us past cemeteries, a prison, and other historical locations. What's a ghost tour without a ghost? detector, an electric magnetic field or EMF detector. So what it's supposed to do is kind of let us know whenever any activity is kind of walking around because we know that spirits manifest themselves by drawing energy from currents. So I put the EMF reader to the test. The spirit of a woman in a colonial lavender dress is said to haunt the Pow House along 3rd near Spruce Streets. Give us something. Give us something. The EMF reader went silent when Kara Burns from Tulsa was around. <laughs> oh, you she went away. She has a light girl. It went away. <laughs> Lady in Lavender, the girls are over there. Come on back. Yeah, there you go. Dude, so. it's back. Yeah. Purple's my favorite color. <laughs> it went, it went. It stopped. It stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I really do have goosebumps, and I feel it like she's like right here. I do not personally believe in them. Wait, but I don't this know is going detector. crazy. I don't, now I don't have an explanation, so <laughs> maybe I'll have to rethink my answer. The Segway Philly Ghost Tour takes place every night this month at dusk. John McDevitt, KMW News Radio for CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Mm -hmm. Do you think John McDevitt is Lady Lavender? <laughs> <laughs> Just this is, you, you know, that's a little him. creepy. Yeah, it is.